Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Amanda and if you are brand new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. Make sure to like and comment on this video and also make sure to turn on your post notifications. Today, we're going to be watching Halloween Town. I can't tell you how long it's been since I last saw Halloween Town. By the way, I think you guys might have noticed that I changed my setup. I like it a little bit more here on the side. I, I don't know, but it gives it like um, a little bit more of an aesthetic vibe, but I like it. I can't tell you the last time I saw Halloween Town. It has been many moons. I, I want to say it's been more than 10 years. That was the last time I saw Halloween Town. Like the OG Halloween Town. The other ones, like the last last one, Return to Halloween Town, it, maybe it's been less than 10, I wouldn't even say it's been less than 10 years. Honestly, I actually think it's been like 10 years since I saw the last one, Return to Halloween Town. Probably a little bit more. So it's actually been even longer since I've seen the OG Halloween Town with uh, Kimberly J. Brown and the late Debbie Reynolds. Um, but yeah, it's been a, a while, but we're in spooky season and I'm so excited to be able to, you know, watch this and share this with you guys. Like I, I can't wait to go back and look at it and see so many, like try to remember, you know, um, such a classic movie. I was obsessed with this movie, this entire series. Um, even when they had returned to Halloween Town and it was no longer Kimberly J. Brown, I still really loved it and, and enjoyed it. Um, but there's nothing like the classic one. And God, it was just, I was obsessed with it. I had a, I had a thing for like witches and I don't know, being like witchy and having magical spells and casting like that. I, I was obsessed with that when I was younger. So Maybe that's why I love Hocus Pocus so much. Well, that and I just love the uh, musical theater aspect of it all and just the fierce quality that it has. So anyways, I'm rambling. Guys, I'm excited to watch this. Remember to hit the subscribe button if you want to see more awesome content. The support means the world to me. And without further ado, let's get into Halloween Town. Enjoy. Oh, look at the intro. Oh my god, I haven't seen this in so long. This is giving me such nostalgia. I remember little me just sitting there, like, entranced by the movie, just sitting in front of my screen, probably in a Halloween costume. So I, I think I remember when this... I think if I re even remember it when it first released. Oh, <gasps> the music! Got the nine 90s films those films like hit different i don't know why but 90s films just hit different man hocus pocus halloween town <clears throat> it just slaps it just hits it, it hits different in the feels man maybe it's the nostalgia but it just hits hits you in a different way there's nothing like 90s films Coming. oh that's right because they don't celebrate so halloween you know nobody ever comes here on halloween because their mom really tried to like keep them away from it Right? Yeah. Oh my god, yeah. baby Kimberly J. Brown. This is a this is a trip for me. Out. What is the big deal? These close-ups um, are intense like though. I, mean, I don't remember these close-ups being stuff. that close. Yeah. <laughs> Lovely audience, but the show is I need over. to talk to the cinematographer of this tomorrow. film because I don't understand Mom. these close these close-ups. We are too close to Kimberly J. Brown's face. <laughs> I mean, my poor little sister should be out. I'm going to be honest, tree. that like transparent neon yellow green jacket, that was like the thing when I first saw it. I was like, I want to dress like Marnie. I want to dress like everybody in the 90s, early 2000s. Those outfits slap too, I'm just saying. Now that I'm actually like looking back at this whole thing and like this whole <laughs> conversation about how the fact that they're not allowed to celebrate Halloween or even go out, like just route, like they're in the neighborhood and all that. Can you, like, it doesn't, I, I don't think it like really, you really understood it when you first watched it. But now that you look back at it, you're like, she really is making a big deal about just walking around on a holiday, like, you know, and ha Halloween when everybody does that. Like, even if you just go out with your parents or whatever, like, and it doesn't even seem like, you know, any of the, like the big reasons were like, you know, I don't want you guys to go by yourself, you know, stranger danger, you know, it's not, I, I don't feel comfortable. Like it, it doesn't feel like it was, it was even any of that stuff. It just feels like she just had something against the holiday and it, I don't want you guys going out. Halloween is dangerous. So like now it just, it, it almost kind of seems a little bit silly that, you know, she's afraid of, of of the holiday like it's not just going out by yourself you know you kids are young i don't want you going out by yourselves you know it's just literally i 
hate Halloween. It kind of seems a little bit <laughs> silly or like comical now when you look back at it as an adult. Halloween is cool, nature boy. I mean, it's exciting, strange, and ancient. Plus, mom and dad met on Halloween. Yeah, I guess that, that's like the all, the other thing too. Like, I don't even think she even told them like, you know, they don't like Halloween for religious reasons or anything like that. It was just literally like, Halloween is dangerous. I can't tell you why, but just don't go out on Halloween. Okay, the casualty of just a huge buzz in the air. <gasps> it's the queen, Debbie Reynolds. Oh, oh my God, the nostalgia. I remember seeing this like the first time I saw her. I didn't know obviously who Debbie Reynolds was at that young age, but just like seeing this part, I was so entranced. What was her name? Grandma Aggie? I think it was Aggie. This was like my Halloween series before Hocus Pocus became my thing. But this this will always hold a special place in my heart, just like Hocus Pocus. But this was like, I think this was like my OG, like, Halloween obsession movie series. Oh my god, she was so little. No, 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 no. She was so cute. They were so upset. Their mom was just wound so tight. They just didn't know why. <laughs> Oh my god, the special effects. Honestly, this is actually really good. There's like some parts of it where you can see like the green screen or whatever, but like there's parts of it that actually seems really realistic. I love her bag. Her bag is a character all on its own. He's the only one who's on mom's side. Marnie could not care less. And Sophie's like, I'm just a kid. I want to have fun. <laughs> That is a lot of candy. Her outfit. I used to be upset with hers and Marnie's outfit too. Hieroglyphics, mother. I was gonna say it looked like something that you would find in the Mummy series. Encouragement, not good. And you know what else? I had. He's such a suck up to mom. Like all the costumes. Costumes. This is so much fun. This is giving me all the feels. You don't know how much like I used to see these things and, and these movies and used to watch like Marnie in her outfit and, and be like, I want that. Like, I want to be dressed like that. I know, dear, it's more like a moaning sound. You know, ghosts tend to be very depressed creatures anyway. <laughs> like this. <gasps> yes, Debbie Reynolds giving us that acting. Please tell us a bedtime story. Yeah, great idea. Yeah. I mean, horrible idea. <laughs> the one time he got excited about something. <laughs> oh, being normal is vastly overrated. Well, the quote of the century I from like Dame Debbie Reynolds. <laughs> oh, wait, I think she has to be British to be a dame. Okay, never mind. Then grandiose Debbie Reynolds. I don't know what, what title to give her. Halloween Town. <gasps> and the residents are a bit more exotic. I'm so excited. Costumes, a few very fine witches. She's so cute. She's so cheeky. Excuse me, but we have an impressionable young child here. I think we should make it clear that this place we're talking about is just pretend. Dylan is such a party pooper. There. <gasps> Halloween Town. I would love to get my hands on that book these days. I don't even know if you can actually purchase this. Like if it's on Amazon. I would love to have one. It really does look just like her. Oh my god, I forgot about this. I literally, like, growing up, wanted to be a witch like Marnie. Oh, back to the childhood years when you played pretend and would travel to all these places in your mind. Oh no, no, dear, you're very special. You're Cromwell. <gasps> That's right, that was their last name, Cromwell. It was, I remember, now that I'm hearing it, it rings a bell, because I was like, oh, it's so witchy, so magical, Cromwell. Grandma just taking the bus in that outfit. Can you imagine? <laughs> well, I'm sure there's been stranger on regular buses, so never mind. <laughs> Poor Marnie. Girl, you about to go on a journey you don't even know yet. She's very angrily throwing something into that bowl. It's <laughs> very intense. <laughs> Yes, I can <gasps> find me 
I didn't remember that. I didn't remember that her powers had a time limit. Chicken keeps better when it's back on the bone. I used to love that moment. <laughs> also, that was actually really done done very well too. I'm so impressed with 90s special effects. Fight is over. You know that? The clock has finally run out. And you can just go home. She's like, everything makes sense Wait. now. The dark times. And I fear my powers alone may not be enough to stop it. I need another Cromwell, which I need you. Come on, Gwendolyn, do it. Do it. Perhaps the Cromwell line will end with you. But let's just hope that Halloween Town doesn't come to an end along with it. She is infuriated. I would be too. You gotta save Halloween Town. It's precious. Enjoy your leftovers, dear. <laughs> <laughs> I love Grandma Aggie. I think you talked to me as a witch, and so is Mom, and so am I, because they both said so. What do you think? I think it proves insanity is hereditary. I just hope <laughs> boys are immune. That line is actually really funny. <laughs> insanity is hereditary, but I just hope boys are immune. <laughs> Honestly, that kind of should be a little bit of an iconic line. Dylan, haven't you ever wondered about the stuff that goes on in our house? No. Like why mom won't let us talk about, watch, or read. Anything that has the word magic in it? No. Honestly, yeah. Haven't you ever wondered why You guys should have always been curious about that because it's kind of weird. Why are you such a downer? Why are you such a nutcase? Downer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, their banter is witty. Where'd that bus come from? I don't know, but I'm not missing it. Yes, girl, get on that bus. You know where it's gonna take you. Get to Halloween Town. You're in for the ride of your life. What? The bus. The Stop bus traveling. Somewhere. It looks so funny. Oh my god, the makeup and the prosthetics are amazing. I didn't remember it being this amazing. Costume party, the Moose Lodge. <laughs> Oh my god, the bus special effects is taking me out. Oh my god. Look at Halloween Town and all its residents. Okay, hold on. Because the makeup department really just snapped with this movie. I can't even imagine the hours it took to get every single one of those residents, like, in makeup and prosthetics. Insane. Some volunteer work down at the Headless Shelter. Poor dears. The Headless Shelter. Oh my god, that is hilarious. You really have a different appreciation now that you're an adult when you see these movies. Whoa. I'm serious, look at, th at this makeup and prosthetics. It. This is freaking amazing. Marnie's witch cape, jacket, sleeveless jacket, whatever it is, that is it. That is literally it. Oh no, Sophie got- <laughs> she got on the bus too. But you were asleep. I was pretending. She's smart. <laughs> well, hello. I don't believe we've met. Calabar. To have a, a huge lollipop in my ear. Here you are, Sophie. No thanks. She's like, it's okay. I don't want that. It's full of earwax. <laughs> and uh, you are human. <laughs> Wait a minute. Does that mean- are you Gwen's kids? Oh no, she shouldn't have said that. This is the guy that's like obsessed with Gwen. Where she lives? Oh, of course, she's lived in the same house for 200 years. Can you imagine living in a house for 200 years? Well, if it's a nice, cozy home. Ah, oh my god, I remember the taxi driver. The robotics or the puppetry and like the expressions on his- like, it's so impressive. This movie is very impressive. It's not polite to stare. Polite? Let's talk about how legal it is to drive with no eyeballs. <laughs> he is such a judgmental De Debbie Downer. Who is he? Ah, uh, he's just a local punk. Oh, I actually remember Luke. I think he's like Marnie's best friend. Like, he helps her. Well, here we are. Shay Cromwell. Aggie living in, like, the biggest mansion on the block. He's probably animatronic. Disneyland's full of stuff like that. Too. Stop. Now he said he's an animatronic. Disneyland is full of that. Honestly, he probably is some sort of robotic animatronic. 
puppet type thing. Honestly, but it's very impressive for like how old this movie is. I don't even know how old this movie is. It's probably maybe around somewhat like around the same time maybe as Hocus Pocus. I don't think it's 93, but maybe it's like 98, 96, something like that. So it's like 20 something years. It's um it's been a while. It's been a while. But this is this is really taking me back. I haven't seen this movie in over 10 years. Easily over 10 years, probably 15. This is amazing. But the jokes though, especially the ones coming from Dylan. Dylan is way too relatable. <laughs> way too way too relatable chance for me to try my powers powers what powers the iconic line <laughs> Let's see. big iron lock that keeps us out open up your big iron mouth she was really trying out the rhymes at the beginning honestly that's a really good rhyme to come up with on the spot sophie how did you do that i pushed she literally just pushed it with her mind sophie is all powerful and she doesn't even know it at such a young age Bubble, bubble, toil, and trouble. That I did not remember. That is hilarious. Can my microwave say that for Halloween season? Can't we just call her? No, no, dear. I'm afraid we haven't worked out long distance calling between worlds yet. <laughs> they haven't figured out that long distance uh, calling yet. They don't know how much they're going to charge on their AT&T bill. AT&T needs to figure out how to make that work. See, time works differently in Halloween Town. Two hours there might be two days here or two weeks if we're on vacation. <laughs> so there really is no consistency to time in Halloween Town. It can just be as long as you want or as short as you want. <laughs> now the glass shows me that some evil force is at work here in Halloween Town. <laughs> Ooh, it's Calabar. This is Halloween Town having a pensieve before um, Harry Potter, except this shows the future, not look at memories. <laughs> How's this stuff gonna help? Oh, by bringing this talisman back to life. <gasps> oh my god. You know, I saw this on Amazon the other day and I was like, I kind of really want to buy it for this year. It's such a beautiful talisman. <laughs> She just put some pixie dust, some little party city sparkles over that, and she said her incantation. That's what I get for trying to use instant. <laughs> That's actually really funny. Ars fang, hair of a werewolf, the sweat of a ghost. I suppose we could get these ingredients in town. Oh my god, I remember the sweat of a ghost. They went to like some sort of sauna where some ghosts were like, you know, and they're in the sauna and they're just, and they just collect their sweat. I remember this vividly. Dylan? Oh, she is about to lose her freaking mind. Mother? I love how she immediately knew it was her mom. <laughs> she knew her mom had something to do with it. Try to destroy us. Me just realizing right now I have the... I have the subtitles on. Serene. It's a wonderful death. Oh, clothes. Oh, God. That scared me. These prosthetics and makeup are just too real. Too real. What is it? What's wrong? Well, I don't have all the details yet, but I do know one thing. I want you to leave this alone for now. Especially with the children. It's much too dangerous for you to be involved with by yourself. Such a sleazy con artist. I can't stand him. His son was pretty cute, though. I just can't stand him, though. Hold on, was that like a Sarah Sanderson? Mm. Looked a little bit like a little like a Sarah Sanderson in the background. Oh, Marnie, she's found the brooms. <laughs> she's found the brooms. <laughs> it's like that is what attracts new witches. The brooms. They always go for the brooms. <laughs> well, looks like you got your on our windsweeper back out. It's the zombie Elvis is taking me out. 
Unibody construction. Woo! Chrome detailing. The Nimbus 2000 could never. Bert in Nota. Check it out. It looks like an exotic bird. <laughs> it looks like one of the birds that you would see in Rio. <laughs> I'm something of a big cheese around here. Maybe I can show you around sometime. Luke is giving me I should be in Back to the Future vibes. If you want to be totally red, you got to have the day glow bristle. It's him being an Elvis, a zombie Elvis, but also a salesman at the same time. Oh, this is so cute. Oh my God. But look at that animation. It is so precious. When she first got on her broomstick, it was just so cute. And it's not like even precious, like I'm making fun of it. It's just literally like precious. Like it just reminds me of my childhood. Like it just looks so cute. Like it just gives me just nostalgic vibes and it brings me back to a simpler time. Do that. I don't think so. <laughs> Ooh. She's here. I was going to get them back just as soon as I possibly felt that I could. Be Mother, better. I can. <laughs> as soon as I possibly felt that I could, you know, <laughs> just rambling on. Morning, there is so much more involved in this than you understand. I understand that I am here and I've got a broom and I'm going to learn everything that grandma can teach me. She said, I told you. Great ride. I felt that. I felt that when she walked away. Can't even tell. Hey, the mayor seems like a nice what guy. Maybe he can help. Come on, help. Tell people a story. That's a I'm very good idea. Help. Let's go. Oh, don't go see the mayor. He's got like an obsessive crush over you. Here you go with the caffeine again. What's wrong with the caffeine? You're killing me. <laughs> the caffeine. We literally share the same body. You are attacking my heart right now with this caffeine. <laughs> It's so interesting that like Calabar's office kind of looks like a like a courtroom. Like he's got chairs on the side. Uh, I remember the rose. That was smooth. <laughs> what's going on here? I have no idea. It's just some flirting going on. That's what's going on, children. Well, we could take the Sticks River cruise, have a little dinner, and I could show you all our old haunts. So, so. Um, actually, I'm trying to leave. Uh, <laughs> she said, I'm trying to get out of here as fast as possible. I didn't even think I was going to see you. I'll get right to the point. I have a very urgent message. Oh, in the needle. <laughs> She's fantastic. She's giving me children's theater performer. And I should know. I did it for so many years. But she was fantastic. <laughs> she said, it's my, it's my one moment glory. I got to make it count. Go away, Luke. I'm not in the mood. Family trouble, huh, Grammy? How dare you call Miss Aggie Granny? I know you've got Merlin's talisman. And he wants it. He? Who is he? For a second, I thought Merlin wanted his talisman back, but it's Calabar. That's why I'm here. He wants to reveal himself to you. That didn't sound right. <laughs> oh, no. I think Luke started out bad and he was kind of working for Calabar, I think. And then he had his redemption. Your father was human and that is the world that we live in. Period. Look. It was the look. Oh, I know what's going to happen to Aggie. This actually kind of scared me a little bit when I was a kid. This movie theater just filled with people like pretty much not conscious like are under the spell that they were under or whatever like this was pretty scary especially when Calabar would show up in the movie theater that was so scary oh my god the animation I love it the special effects this was scary though <laughs> Calabar's ugly face was so scary Calabar in the first movie is what nightmares are made of two by two and three by three will you shut up <laughs> he told you. Oh, she was hit. She kind of she looks a little funny though. <laughs> no! The the way they get hit is kind of funny though. I don't know why. Oh no. 
That was really sad. Yo, that movie theater with Calabar, that was just, that was used to be so scary. Together we can conquer anything. Go Cromwells. Let's go. Take a gander. Look at you, sweetheart. You are coming. Oh my god, I do remember him. He was the hairstylist. Don't touch that, okay? No, don't worry, I use one of these don't all the time, okay? Oh <gasps> a literal hair dryer from hell. Why would you ever use that hair dryer? Like on who? Oh! Hey, hey, hey. oh, this is gonna be so upsetting for him. This could be a good look for me. Yeah, baby! Like, the Austin Powers of werewolves. <laughs> but also, like, what did that do for the front of his hair? It literally just left a, a bald spot on the back. With your left hand, now we're gonna stroke. Oh my god, I did not remember this part. This is amazing. The Jane Fonda of Halloween Town. <laughs> Ghosts are dead. Why would they worry about fitness? You know, the dead gotta worry about their, their physique, too. They won't, might want to take care of themselves. You don't know what goes on in their personal lives. Their personal afterlife lives. Literally, isn't that kind of weird that just some random kids are staring at you while you're in a sauna? Make fun of the transparent guy. Just because you can see through us doesn't mean we don't have feelings. The ghost getting sensitive about his feelings. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that sauna was very hot. <laughs> oh my god, I feel like this just fed even more so into like people being afraid of the dentist, this scene. Wow, Doc! That didn't hurt at all! The blacked out tooth. <laughs> Why did they do that? Uh, you can see it very well in 4K that that is not a, an empty space. That is a blacked out tooth. Maybe back then you could maybe it could look like it was a black like it was just a space it that did not work out well <laughs> what was the third degree here get in the car ah! <laughs> it was the slow extension of the of the arm go doggy go go catch the bad bonehead She's like, I think I need a spell to make this work. <laughs> Betty March, Betty Gunther, Betty uh, Guggenheim is all that's bid. Who came up with that spell? Who came up with those words? <laughs> what is it, so? Children have amazing retention, I tell you. They lit it. They lit Merlin's talisman. I think it has something to do with Dylan at the end. Like, he needs to join in on the fun. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that was one of the things. Like, they all needed to come together to destroy the evil. I think so. I can hear her heart beating. Grandma, too. That portal is scary. Word, you dumb thing. Word. Why isn't it working? I think they really had to hold that position for a while. That's impressive. What'll see mortal do? What? It's the close-up for me. <gasps> What's going on with the pumpkin? Why, why, why is it on fire? Ooh. The Dementors are here. God, any time Calabar showed up was really scary when I was a kid. It's that face. It's the face. Too long have we been this second class world. Oh, that's right. That was his obsession. He always wanted to take over the mortal world because he felt like he, they were like all the citizens and everyone was banished to Halloween Town and not allowed to live in the mortal world because they were ridiculed for being freaks. Ah, the reveal. Wait, is somebody dressed like Winifred? Hold on, I gotta go back. Hold on, somebody's literally dressed as Winnie Sanderson. 
Oh my god, her in the back. I guess it's Disney, so they own the rights to all that. <laughs> oh. Yes, go for it, Marnie. Oh no. You can do it, Marnie. <gasps> the drop. <gasps> Let there be light. Yay! <gasps> They're back to life. The dark magic has been vanquished. Oh, they have made amends. This ending came a little bit quicker than I thought, like the vanquishing of Calabar. I don't know why I thought there was like another sort of like confrontation scene with him. Oh, oh, oh they're back together again. I'm twice the guts. Grandma, it was, it was Calabar. What? All the citizens just partying in the back. They're like, yes. Why, Calabar? You could have had me. Oh, God. Not underestimate me, Agatha. Ah. Oh. Oh, I knew there was more. Okay. This is literally just because Gwendolyn didn't want to date you? Dude, come on. It's not that serious. Like a dark shadow over no way. I don't have any powers. I'm the normal one in this family. <laughs> Dylan, come into your own. Accept your warlockness. Harmony. Let's harmonize as the Cromwells. I'm Dylan, we need you. Believe. Come on, Dylan. Don't be a sourpuss. Do it. Do it with the family. Do it. Calabar is sweating up a storm. He getting nervous now. Poof. He's gone. Yay! You were everything I could have ever hoped for in a daughter. It's so much more. Oh. Hitting you in the feels there. Luke? <gasps> oh, that's right. That's his, like, true form. I forgot about that. A date? Yeah, it was stupid. Oh. This makeup and prosthetics i've said it so much but i'm just so impressed it looks so amazing you know that i can't cross over only on halloween night hmm. well then i guess you're just gonna have to come live with us oh <gasps> i forgot about that <laughs> that she comes to live with them oh don't panic dear don't panic oh <gasps> bag is back oh, i thought we could continue your studies yes. uh rio 3000 the best bird broom in all of Halloween Town. <laughs> it is cute, but it couldn't have been like a decked out, like glitterified, colorful broom. It had to be like a real bird. <laughs> like I'm saying goodbye to the Halloween Town residents. <laughs> oh my god, this is so cute. The, the bus is giving me like magic school bus. This was so cute to like revisit after so many years. I really don't know how many years it's been, but it's definitely been more than 10. So like way much more than 10. I I loved this so much. This gave me such a nostalgic feel. I'm serious. It really reminded me to like little Amanda sitting in her bedroom, probably dressed like a witch or if not just like in regular clothes, but like like glued to the television screen watching Halloween Town and I was just like immediately entranced I was in I immediately fell in love with it like DCOMs really hit hard back in the day like th there was a lot of like really good amazing DCOMs Halloween Town there was um Under Wraps um what was the other one? Oh, the one with the boy that he was like he turned into a, a merman when he also turned 13 Wait, was it called my 13th year or something like that? Yeah. DCOMs just really hit different back then. Oh, this was so nostalgic. It was so nice to see it. I surprisingly remembered like the grand majority 
of what happens in the movie. Like, I knew what happened in the movie. It was just, like, the sequence of it all. I kind of, I, I, I was kind of, like, I thought it ended too soon when I saw Marnie, like, put it, put the talisman in the, like, pumpkin, uh, the big pumpkin at the, at the city hall. But, but then there was just a little bit more left of it because they still needed to, um, defeat Calabar altogether. I knew that it had something to do with, like, Dylan at the end because Dylan needed to, like, join everybody and, like, leave his doubts to the side and he needed to, like, join the family so that they could vanquish Calabar. I will say my absolute favorite Halloween town is part two, Calabar's Revenge. That is my absolute favorite Halloween town. And I think it was just because it was a bit darker it was a bit darker, like stakes were higher. Um, it was a little more intense from what I remember. And I usually always was, I was always just gravitated more towards those, the ones that were like darker, because I just liked the drama and the intensity of it. And like the, I just liked the, the raised stakes. And uh, it, it just, uh, I liked, I think I just liked the darkness of it. I don't know why. I've always been like, a Halloween person, a Christmas person too, because I really love the holidays, but I, I've always loved Halloween and I always loved it when Halloween films were just a little bit more intense, not gory or violent or nasty like other Halloween movies, but like these Halloween movies that I like and that I grew up watching, I just always loved them when they were a little bit more on the darker side and not so cheesy. I didn't like it when they were cheesy, but I really liked it when they had a darker twist to them. It just made it feel a little bit more real. So that is definitely my favorite and I can't wait to watch and react uh, to, Cal to uh, Calabar's Revenge to part two of Halloween Town because that was my absolute favorite. I remember that I used to play that one a lot. I used to watch that one a lot, a lot, a lot uh, when it first released. It was, it was my favorite. It was just darker. It was darker and I really liked it. This was so much fun. I'm, I'm so excited to keep watching these. I'm going to watch all the Halloween Towns plus more Halloween movies. Um, but this was, this was so much fun to watch really taking me back to my childhood and I really 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 feel like I needed that I'm also going to watch the first Hocus Pocus also here on my channel which I have seen but I want to react to it because I already saw Hocus Pocus 2 and I have that watch party live stream up on my channel but I want to go back and see Hocus Pocus I gotta tell you 90s and early 2000s films and tv shows and things they just hit different in the feels and in the nostalgia and um yeah, it just it just hits hard. I love it when things that are done today pay some sort of homage to older older films or older series cuz you know it just it just gives it that little extra touch. It just, you know, it, it gives a nod and a respect and a slight touch of nostalgia added in there that I truly and greatly appreciate. But guys, thank you so much for joining me for this. I had so much fun. I loved it. I loved reacting to this. It definitely brought me back some nice childhood memories to simpler times. And it made me truly, truly, truly happy. Uh, guys, thank you so much. Again, I hope you enjoyed my uh, reaction video. Please make sure to give it a like. Drop a comment down below if you guys remember watching Halloween Town. How old were you? Let me know in the comments down below how old you were. If you saw it when it premiered. And does this give you back the nostalgia and the feels? I hope it did because it really did to me. And I feel very, very happy right now with having watched this. It definitely uh, brought me back to my childhood. And I think it was very much needed. It, was, it felt nice. And as always, guys, I love you. I appreciate you. And I hope that you have a fabulous day or night. I love you guys. Bye.